Good afternoon. Welcome once again to my daily chat. Um, this is episode number 552. And the topic today is a little different, um, and I'll tell you about why in a moment. Um, and it's, so, it's basically self-support, self-love, and self-care, I think. It was three selves. <laughs> But I'll get into detail on that and hopefully explain what I am. I don't maybe get the title right by the time I get to that point. Before I get jump into that though, let me start with introducing myself and who I am on our about. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert and help strong, successful women, um, high-achieving women, in fact, create and find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which undergirds all of my work. And for the last two years, and particularly the last, well, skipping the first few months I've been doing these daily talks because they were weekly before that these daily talks now for quite a while called messages from the masculine to inspire your feminine heart and today's episode is number 552 so again done this for a while and the topic today is around all this self support support stuff that I wanted to bring to the table because frankly it's um, a rich topic and the reason why I'm talking about this now is because I'm, lit I'm literally or I was literally earlier I use that term literally. It always means something to some people and something to different to other people. Anyway, I'm I'm finishing up putting an email together to go out to my email list tomorrow morning um, on behalf of a summit I'm appearing on in ten days. It's coming up shortly, which is called this, which is called the uh, Body Love Summit. And my friend Jennifer Luddington, who was a recent friend, but we had an interview a while ago, so we've become friends over over time, is leading this summit and I'm one of the featured experts, one of only two guys out of 25 experts, oh dear, um, that have been featured because of the message we bring and how we support women. And so this, women, this summit is aimed towards women because women generally deal with this more than men do, uh, or I should say more overtly deal with this more than men do because the industry that's built around that, the beauty industry, um, fashion to a degree, is really catered towards women and is towards men. So we men tend to get away with it in a way. Um, as much as though I think quite a lot of men carry on a certain self-image, um, well, I guess I say judgment, it's nowhere near as bad as it is for women. So let me speak to the ladies about this since this is my primary audience. Um, but men, you can tag along as well if you wish. So the, the, the title was really about how we inclusive men and women carry a self image that may not match may not match reality um, because we tend to believe certain people and not other people about who we are as in when we're very young as I've talked about this before in other contexts we will tend to believe what our parents tell us until we hear a different opinion from somebody else we value more and this is the thing we as human beings have a bad habit of basing our perception from others upon upon people we I say another way <laughs> I've got to frame this in the right way so it hit me and I was like this makes sense is that we have this bad habit of relying on certain people to give us an opinion of who we are because of the opinion we have about who they are does that sound interesting like we basically raise or we, we have a stand of somebody else's opinion of us because we have an opinion of them that's higher you see how out of whack that is we don't even take into consideration about who, what we think of ourselves, but we tend to take on an opinion of other people who we respect more than we respect ourselves, and that's a trap. So if you're someone who's around other women, if you're a woman who's around other women, or a man who's around other men for that matter, and you find yourself judging yourself because of the way other people consider you, here's a tip from my dear old friend, Ellen Roosevelt. <laughs> well, not my friend, but you know, she, she was a very... Um, she had a lot of quotes attributed to her. One of the quotes she was attributed to her, so one of the quotes that was attributed to her, is what you think of me is none of my business. And that simple statement is a gut punch to a lot of people who are caught up in the opinion, in, in the um, paradigm of believing other people's opinions of themselves. And it's a trap because to be blunt, what people think of you is none of your business. And people will judge us. I know people judge me. I have <laughs> good and bad, just to be transparent. I've, I've heard enough of this. And over the years, I've done as well. And frankly, to be totally um, kind of bullish about it, but totally truthful about it, I've really, to a large degree, given up worrying about what, what, what other people think of me. I take feedback when I notice it's accurate and I can use it. 
but I'm getting better at having deference about what people think of me because people would say things about me that is absolute crap. But it's not about me, it's about them, it's their judgments. And, and let me, okay, I'll dive into that one a bit too. Um, we, <laughs> I'm saying there's an unpack kind of worms with this one. We, we have um, a bad habit in society of Uh, I don't know if I want to go there or not. This is this one's a bit. This one's a bit okay. Let me lay this out very simply because I don't want to go too deep into this one. It's a whole other com whole other conversation I've had before, but I don't want to bring it up too much here. But we have this tendency to be swayed by opinions and judgments of other people, and we become those other people for other people. If that makes any sense, we have judgments about people, and then they take our opinion personally. So we become the cause of their upset with themselves. So I'm, I'm feeling like we have a lot of, as a culture, room to grow to get out of the habit of judging other people because it doesn't help anybody. And sometimes, sorry, I just had it. So I said that, I went, oh, insert. Um, sometimes we have this tendency to feel better when we judge somebody else worse. So when we judge other people as less than who we are, we boost our own ego for a short period of time. And that's a limiting way of living. But the thing about it is we're doing that because our self-esteem is low because we believe something somebody else said. Have you seen this, this sort of like circle of insanity going on here? So let me lay another way out. So we may feel less, um, what's I'm looking for? We, we may have a, a lowered morale, a self-esteem may be lowered because somebody says something about us. So the way that we raise our self-esteem, and this is not the right way, by the way, but it's the way we tend to do it in, in, in life, is we judge somebody else to make ourselves feel better whether it's somebody on TV or somebody we pass by in the street or somebody driving past us or somebody we know, usually not to their face, but by judging them, what we're doing in a very negative way is raising our self-esteem by leveraging off somebody else's. And that is a bad habit. Self-esteem, lasting, excuse me, lasting self-esteem begins with supporting yourself from inside. The trap we fall into as human beings Notoriously, we live in judgment, and it's a it's a dangerous place to play because we end up judging ourselves as bad, if not worse, than other people judge ourselves. Because when we're so caught up in other people's opinions, when we don't get the opinion we want, we'll actually be judging ourselves as less than that. We'll be suffering as a um, a victim of our own doubt and self judgment. So, self image, which was the first one, I remember now, self image. Self support, no, self image, self love, self support. That was the title. Yes, I got it right, I think. <laughs> Whatever it is, that seems right. Anyway, so self image is a key piece of this pro process of learning how to actually respect and appreciate who we are, independent of circumstance and independent of comparison. Comparison is a dangerous trap that we're always going to lose against somebody. We may win against somebody, but we're going to lose against others. So comparison doesn't work. So let that one go. And when you create a place where your self-image is solid, where you trust and, and respect who you are, and you then start to love who you are in terms of supporting and caring about who you are in your life and take care of yourself and honoring yourself, then you have self-support that is an absolute um, pillar of strength that you can rely upon because it's all inside of you. And this sort of three-step process, which is really, it's not really particularly articulately clearly laid out, but it's really three key pieces. Once you do these three steps, it will transform your life and it will transform your relationships. And I mentioned yesterday, and I've heard a couple of days before that, about um, high-achieving women was this, this term I was talking about and, and sharing about how many women have been so driven to succeed in the world, but they're hollow inside because they've not taken care of themselves. This applies to them especially because so many women out there who are look like they're like a million bucks they're, they're rocking the world they're making a big difference they're impacting the world in powerful ways but internally they feel like they're nothing in some ways their, their self-esteem their self-support is void and so their ability to love and be loved is challenged because they don't know how to simply be a loving person comfortably and trusting themselves so self-image Self-love, self-support are the three I'm playing with in this talk. And yes, I have a self-love practice, so I'll put a link in the comments because that's part of the thing I'm offering in this summit as a free gift. It's a pivot point because for most people, 
they haven't practiced any form of self-love as a discipline, as a caring way of being, or as a way of actually sharing their um, love for themselves. They may share it towards other people, because that's much easier, because you love other people more than you love yourself. Baloney! You know, you know that sort of thing. Um, <laughs> that was a bad attempt at um, muffling a um, bullshit, so I'm making it clear. Loving yourself actually is much easier than loving somebody else because, <coughs> excuse me, because of who you are is always with you. It's easier mechanically because you're right next to yourself. It's like, you know, you're not you're a distance from you, but other people come and go. However, there's a bad habit we have of judging that we're not worthy of love, which is an absolute lie. And it is a way of avoiding loving ourselves when we can actually be, when we're actually fully deserving of that. So for me, I'm, um, I've been passionate about this, which is why I got invited to be on this summit that's coming up next, next week. I don't know if I can remember the launch dates. I didn't have it in my head when I did this talk. But I'm doing the, I'm sending the email tomorrow morning to my email list to let them know about the upcoming summit and invite them to sign up. We've got a few, we've got 25, 25 experts, I think it is, including Mary Ellen Hamingway, which is awesome. Nice to have a big headline on the front of this. And uh, I'm one of, the, say, one of the only two guys on the summit. So it's going to be fun. And the interview that I had with, um, with Jen was a really rich conversation that didn't talk about this specifically, but it talked about the same conversation because self-image is such a part of body love and body support. And if you're dealing with that in your own life, I do recommend my self-love practice. Again, I'll put the link in the comments because it's such a simple tool, but we forget to use it. And the tool that's not used is useless. And when you do love yourself and really care about who you are, then your self-image improves and so does your self-support. So these three things go together very effectively and it might become a program, I don't know. It might become something I can give to people as a gift. But certainly my self-love practice is something I recommend highly. It's, it's a tool that works when you work it. So I think that's about it. I'm finding myself circling back on the same point, so I think, I think I've hit the point on this one, hit the nail on the head. Um, your homework, yes, I have to give you homework, is self-image, self-love, self-support, where are you lacking? Meaning, where do you not have enough um, energy invested? And when you know what it is, invest some energy in that area. <laughs> this is easy to do, you can do it yourself. And if you have questions how to do that, reach out to me, I'll send you some information. And again, my self-love practice is a pivotal piece to use, and I'll put the link in the comments. But that's your homework for your own review, your own self-reflection, your own time. And of course, there's nobody, nobody grading it because you're not handing it in, and nobody knows you're doing it because you don't have to tell anybody. That's the homework I like. <laughs> you do it as you wish. Because the truth is, if you do the homework, it's gonna change your life, and that's the whole point, you should do it for yourself. So with that, that, I thank you for watching. This is a Facebook Live that I do every day, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Then it goes on to my YouTube channel, and then there's my podcast. I'll give you the links for those. Um, Facebook Live is um, saved onto my business page, which is barryselby.author on Facebook. And then it goes onto my YouTube channel, which I invite you to subscribe to, which is Barry Selby, is the channel. And Messages for the Masculine is the playlist. And then onto my podcast, which is on iTunes, also called Messages for the Masculine. You can subscribe to that as well. And you can download the audios when you wish, so you can watch, listen to them when you're driving, doing other things, but you can't watch your phone. You've got your homework, you've got your assignment, I'll put the link in the comments for the self-love practice, and I'll put the link in the comments for the, actually I'll put the link in the comments as well for the, the Body Love Summit, because if you're challenged in this area, you will want to watch the summit, I definitely recommend it. So thank you for being with me as always, thanks for watching and supporting me. Tomorrow again, 5 p.m. Pacific time, my usual time, and uh, that'll be in episode 553, who knows what the topic will be. I appreciate you watching. You take care of yourselves as always. And you know I'm here for you. And uh, I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.